All right, so Angie running around the kitchen making sure everything is ready. From those LBDs, it's time for dessert. Now, we know summer's around the corner. Even though it's a bit chilly in some parts of South Africa today, it doesn't matter because there's always time for a frozen coconut meringue and strawberry cheesecake, just like this beauty we have on this plate. Man, that looks amazing. Yeah. Hey, Angie. You're going to spoil us today. Exactly. Why just make cheesecake and if you can make frozen cheesecake? Turn with it into meringue with and meringue and, and strawberries and whatever. And it's so all it's contained in it's that. It's cute, right isn't it? There. So <laughs> it's like it's cheesecake, it's but cute. it's frozen into an ice cream. So it's I love really it. good for I love summer. It. Let's make it. Right. So what we're going to do is we're going to first, first you would make your coconut meringue. Okay. And that is a very straightforward meringue. We've got some desiccated coconut mixed with icing sugar blended in a food processor and then folded into your meringue. Yes. Bake it. Um, you can bake, you can just pipe little rounds, or you can bake a whole sheet and cut out the rounds when okay, they're done. Okay, okay. So those are already made for us, thankfully. Right. And we're going to do the cheesecake filling. So we've got our full fat cream cheese. We're going to pop that into the mixer. All right, a little easy bit like tricky. That. Yeah. Okay, so that goes into the mixer along with some icing sugar. And I always do the icing sugar first with the cream cheese because the cheese is quite hard and yes, it's difficult okay. to get it to mix. So we just give that a good mix. Okay, so just take it easy yeah. at the beginning. You know, don't want to make too much of a mess. <laughs> the <laughs> keyword is cake. SMS out to 33728. That's cake to 33728 to get your hands on this beautiful little cheesecake we have right here. Perfect for those summer afternoons, eh? Right, so that's mixing. I've added right. a bit of vanilla for flavor. Right. We've got our gelatine, which we've soaked already. I love this. Don't you yeah. love oh, the feeling of that? This is beautiful stuff, yeah. eh? This it's is beautiful. It de-stresses <laughs> you. It's absolutely amazing. Okay, so it's already been soaked in cold water. <laughs> okay. We're going to put that into the pan just to melt down very, very quickly. We okay, don't want to so, boil it. Yes. And as soon as it's melted, we're going to add it in here. Wow, that was quick. That was quick, eh? Add it in there. Mix right. it a bit longer. Gosh, I don't know how this thing works. Okay. There we go. There you we got go. it. You got it. Right. You got it. Okay, we'll turn that off. That's mixed up. Whoopsie. And then we've got some ready whipped cream here. This is just yes. normal cream, which we've whipped. And that's going to get folded through. So that just folds into the So this Fold. is basically your cheesecake It's a cheesecake very, now. very simple cheesecake recipe, um, but it works. Right. So that's our cream. We've got some strawberries that we've soaked in Cointreau. Uh -huh. They could just be soaked in sugar if you don't want to use the alcohol, but I okay. like the alcohol, so why yeah, not? Yeah, it gives a nice flavor exactly. as well. Exactly. And then we just mix that again. Okay. Oh, and look at that. Right. Okay, so once you've so done once that, that's done, this is what it looks like. You end up with this, and we're going to just put our meringue into the base of one of these ring molds or whatever okay, you've okay. got that works for you. And then we fill it up halfway. So it's got strawberries in it, it's got cheesecake. Halfway. Oh, look at that. Put the next one in and then fill it up. That's it. And, and then, so easy, pop it into the freezer. And then you come out with. Come out with this. So, what I did was to make life easier to get it out of the mold, yeah. is you just wrap it in a little bit of paper. Okay, so wrap and it first then, and then line exactly. it. Exactly. So, it's so super simple when you, when you take it out, and then you can just nice and neat. And you garnish it. And there we go. And then we've got a strawberry sauce as well because, you know, you can have too many strawberries. <laughs> yeah. And pour that Look over. Look at that, man. That just looks absolutely delicious. Right. So if you don't have these kind of small little molds or whatnot, just, just make a big... Just make a big one. Make a big one and layer it, a cheesecake. Do you know what little tip I've got for you? Yeah. You know those little tomato paste tins? Yes. You buy those take the bottom and the top off, yeah. get rid of the tomato paste, and then you've got little ring molds. They're perfect. You oh, use them over that. and over again. Hey, yeah. little kitchen hack right there. <laughs> awesome stuff. SMS the keyword cake to 33728 mm. to get your hands on the recipe for our beautiful cheesecake. Man, this is spoiling us <laughs> on a Thursday. Absolutely love it. Check it out. It's on our website a little bit later on as well. That's cool. expressoshow.com. Angie, what a rock star. <laughs>